the northern Luzon magnitude 7 quake, whose epicenter was in Abra, has left the province's structures and school buildings in a state of long-term disrepair. Hence, to deal with next week's school reopening, Deped Abra is rushing to complete at least two dozen temp learning spaces that will take in all students who signed up for this school year into classrooms for live in-person lectures. Our Kenneth Pashente fills us in with more. The magnitude 7 earthquake that jolted northern Luzon recently left behind over 250 million pesos worth of damage to schools and other Deped offices in Abra province. Some damaged schools cannot be used. That's why a few days before the start of 2022-2023 school year, Dep Ed Abra is doing all efforts to provide learning spaces for the students who will return to school on Monday. According to the school's division superintendent of Dep Ed Abra, 27 temporary learning spaces are targeted to be built in 10 schools in the province. 4 million pesos in funds are allocated in building them. The learning spaces will be constructed before Monday. Made up of uh, uh, metal pipe, uh, tubo pa rin siya, and uh, galba, and uh, yung pang ano natin sa sidewall, gamit din tayo ng ano yun, uh, parang plastic siya. Hindi siya, ano, hindi siya plywood. Parang kumbaga, kahit mabasa, uh, nandun, uh, ano, hindi siya ano, magbibigay. But while the construction of the DepEd procured temporary learning spaces is in progress, the Teped Abra has now built temporary classroom in cooperation with the local government unit. The schools have used their allocated maintenance and other operating expenses. They also partnered with some private sectors and non-governmental organizations. And these were built in open spaces of schools or in gymnasiums which FIVOKs identified to be safe. Habang hinahabol, may nakaredy na na uh, temporary learning space uh, using the... Uh, Barangay Open Gym at yan ay uh, through Brigada Eskwela ay na-partition yung Open Gym kasi kailangan mo pa rin yung i-partition using uh, bamboo, tubo, pwede pa rin, and uh, uh, ten. According to the DepEd, it may cost up to 180000 per temporary learning spaces and they are coordinating with LGUs to reduce the construction cost. Patuloy pa rin po kami nakikipag-ugnayan sa mga LGUs para po baka po meron silang mga lugar na hindi naman nagagamit masyado tulad ng mga covered courts na pwede rin po natin gawing temporary learning spaces. The department will also implement adjustment in areas where establishments of temporary learning spaces is not possible. Mag-implement tayo ng alternative delivery modes kung saan yung mga learners sa mga paaralan na nasira na hindi pa matatayo ng temporary learning spaces ay magmamodular studies na po muna. In its latest record, the DepEd has listed more than 22.5 million enrollees for the coming school year. Almost 20 million are enrolled in public schools, over 2.6 million in private schools, over 74,000 in SUCs and LUCs, while over 100,000 in alternative learning system or else. Kenneth Pasyente for The Nation.